everyone. Good morning. Welcome. This is our Wednesday live. Welcome to our Wednesday live. Oh, that's better, honey. Okay. Yes. Let me show you what you're gonna do today. Valentine is not over yet. We are right in the middle of it. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So, I'm feeling inspired by this. Hi, Catherine. Hello. Uh, so, I am feeling red umbrella today. Um, this is my inspiration. I have to change it. The dress has to be black and the umbrella has to be red. Uh, the background totally gone because I am inspired by this background. So, my concept is everything gray, black and white. I might put unicorn chrome on it just to make it a little different, but the, the background, I want it to be subtle, very subtle background. And a uh, pop of red everywhere. Of course, that umbrella is not red. I want it to be red. Um, and then I also found this. So I love the uh, <coughs> Eiffel Towers. I can, I'm gonna put the Eiffel Tower on there. It just, I'm not gonna put a couple on there. I'm just gonna put one lonely girl with an umbrella to create a mood. So no couple today. No couples? No couples. One way love. It's one way love. One way street. No, it's not even love. It's loneliness, solitude. Oh God, happy Valentine's. It is, it's Valentine's design. It just mood, Valentine. Okay, so let me stop sharing and find myself. Sorry, guys. If I look a little poofy, I just I wake up late. I wake up like at ten. Last night I was really stoned. Last night. Not like I'm not stoned every day, but last night was extra for me. Extra. I go extra mile. We have fun toys. For the cause. For the cause. All right. For the cause. That, that's all we have cause. That's all we have cause. I don't know which cause, but that's all we want. All right, guys. So. Red umbrella, uh, system. I'm inspired by painting, so you can see what's coming. Because this is our last live for this week, uh, tomorrow I'm working with clients and models, um, from Thursday to Sunday. But I'm approaching a painting inspire, which means that I'm very close on uh, Disney character and all that character painting. Um, I'm thinking that next week will be all about it. Uh, Disney. Uh, I can use some inspiration to what to draw first, what people want me to draw first. I'm thinking the little alien koala bear or Hello Kitty or Mickey Mouse, uh, be, uh, Sleeping Beauties. Be, oh, no, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. That's what, how, where I can learn some stained glass effect too. Um, I don't know about Aladdin and Jasmine because that's, that's um, last time I painted, it took me two hours. So, uh -huh. because it's my first time painting it. If I paint it again, that'd be my second time. Um, I don't know if I would do it on live. Maybe, maybe I do it on live. It's just the element of uh, Jasmine and Aaron is little, uh, still a little uh, surprising, uh, unexpected to me because I'm going to tackle it uh, realistically. I'm not going to paint like a like cartoon. Like a cartoon you want it to be. Like, like for real. Oh, um, so I don't know. Well, let's just challenge ourselves. Anyway, so let's turn the camera over. Oh, the skunk pedula poo! Yes! I have no idea what it is. Oh my, of course you It is a skunk that fell in love with a black and white cat that he thought was a skunk. Oh, okay. What happened? Is that popular? It, oh my god, when I was going up, yeah. We didn't have good cartoons, so. though. We'll watch one later on, okay? Okay. I think you'll like it. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes. Hi, Joe Nels, Maria. Hello. Hello. Crystal, Spooky Cat, is here too. The look 
for today is uh, what we come up with. Oh, you! Oh my God! Francois. Um, it says red umbrella. It's inspired by the acrylic paint. Um, uh, not acrylic. Oil painting. Uh, since there are many many creations are there, um, in painting, but that picture was a. Uh, Oh, first one that I spied. Hi, Karen. Good morning, Karen. Angelic vampires. Look, she's now ladies. Hello. Good morning. Hi, La Lashley. Oh, Lashley. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. Um, the background that I start. I want black and white. Um, however, I might put a little unicorn in there just, just because. This might not turn out black and white, but that's my concept. A subtle background with a pop of red. However, it might change. The woman gonna be right here, and the Eiffel Tower gonna be right here. Let me make sure it's the right side. Um, here and here is a wood forest, um, black and white forest tree everywhere, and the tree will have red leaf, bright red leaf. Um, we might use a little spot today. We have a little spot. We might use this today. Let me see. We might use a little bit of this. However, um, I want the lid to be brighter, almost as bright as um, a clams. I might use clams and ruby clams because it's brighter. And this is like a deep red. Um, I might use both because I, I need it to cover all the little space in the cuticles. And then this is just scattered all over. Yeah. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Lena Rod. Hello. Those are the tips. Are those pictures? Yes, it is. It is. It's in the essential uh, section in uh, tinovo.shop. Oh, let me pull my website. So if you want to find the product that I use, it's at www.tinovo.shop. I will also include Kyla's information. Kyla is the one that runs Dreamtime uh, website and shipping and all that. You can ask her whatever you like, except for product question. You ask a shipping question, crystal question, uh, any question about the website, how to navigate through it, how to find certain thing. Uh, is this still in stock? Is that still in stock? All the business stuff we can't help you with. Right. Um, I am going to you art show, you guys, because I don't... I want to make a chrome surface. I need a new object. DJ Jordan said, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Your lives keep me sane at work. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I want to make a chrome background, I have to use a, a color base and then put on chrome base, half coat. I don't want to do two coats. So I'm just gonna use black and white art gel because after I cure, I can chrome immediately. Okay. There we go. All right, up, up and away. In the jazz can. All right, I don't want this thing here neither. Hello, Tennessee. All right. Now we have a new art gel ready. Art gel. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am painting the metal finger and the ring finger first. All white. Let me see, I'm gonna use my flat brush this morning for painting because it's a whole nails. I stone out so I can clean my brush. One second, out. Will the nails have to be matte so the chrome doesn't stick to the background? No, I want the chrome to stick in this background. That's why you art gels. I you art gel, so after I put on art gel, I can uh, put on chrome immediately. I don't have to put on a chrome base. I love the way the question was asked, though. I love it. That was a perfect question asked. It's, it's mean, 
it's means the knowledge of uh, Chrome Free is um, there somewhere there. there. You. What was the question again? Uh, will the nails have to be matched so the Chrome doesn't stick to the background? Okay. So next time, um, how you uh, the 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 correct way is will the nail have to be buff? And uh, yes. If the chrome doesn't stick to the background, the nail has to be buff. Hello, Cuba. Cue this place. Oh, where my light? I have no light. Oh, this might be the rings. Okay. Okay, the ring finger is right here. What sticky things do you use to hold the nails? Glue dots. Glue dots. Now I'm going to use some black art gels. You're not that late in the night nails. Mm -mm. We were late for you. That's why we did that. <laughs> Okay, so the lady in the lady gonna be right here, the lady in the umbrella. So this right here gonna be the road that she walked on. I need a palette. Down these black art shells. White art gel. Okay, so I need a little bit of black and white mixed together to make a little gray. Well, welcome to the live family. Oh, we have a new member. Matter of fact, I remember correctly, she said that she's staying home and getting to watch us kind of like, you know, movie day. Oh, that's it's nice. Day. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Today, I have to see a client right after live. Model, honey. Quit saying client. Or Models. Clients, yeah, we'll have to see a model right after live. She better bring us a burger or something. Yeah. I'm so busy today, so I'm not looking forward to it. However, since work with anyway tomorrow is coming, so whatever. Maybe a little <laughs> earlier than usual. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, what, what brush are you using, baby? Uh, I'm using a flat brush. I'm just painting gray all over, like like if the rain will hit the the street, and you will see the street look like this. You know, I mean. Shiny and wet. Like yes. So this um going straight up and down, up and down. I'm gonna leave uh the middle right here to be empty, but around this I'm gonna use gray art gel. It's all gonna be art gel. Hello, friends. I feel like we're doing almost a friends inspired. It is. Oh, yes. Paris. Ooh, I love Paris. Ooh. Today I want... we'll be doing Lady in Umbrella. Tomorrow we'll be doing Kangaroos. Yes. Oh, incidentally, um, we can only mention this during the daytime show. Here it is. No, we, what? we can mention it at night. No, we can't. Australia might want to forget us. No. Tino's been eating kangaroo. No, I'm not I've been eating kangaroo. I have been eating kangaroo jerky. It's still the same room. It's still the same. It, it's a dry kangaroo. It's not a fresh one. Honey, it's a cute marsupial. I order exotic jerky. One night I get, I don't know. I don't know what mood I am that night. 
uh, I need a parrots right here. So right here, it will be like a street again. Um, anyway, so one night, I, I probably really stoned. I don't know. But um, I wondering, I wonder what kind of turkey they will have to offer out there. You know, because I always curious about what a penguin tastes like, what a polar bear tastes like. But you know, though, are illegal to to to, to even eat. So I just wonder. I like. Hmm, I wonder what they sell out there. So, uh, come to my surprise, they have quite a bit. They have ostrich turkey. I only have that. Um, wild boar turkey, kangaroo turkey, alligator turkey, uh, antelope turkey. Oh my god, the antelope turkey is the best. Oh. I love the antelope. You like the ostrich. Yeah, like the you like the ostrich the best. You know, I didn't find any I didn't like. Oh, they said no voice. Is the phone ringing the phone? Mm, I'm. Be everybody hear us? They should. They'll let us know. Yeah. We might just be one. Oh, what's the, the other guy's Instagram account? The, the other guy doesn't have one. Yeah, Dustin doesn't have one. He's off the grid. I'm kind of off the grid too. Say that. I said just more than two of you. Only my my word. You're my, only my my work. Only my work are, are popular, but me, I'm off the grid, honey. Okay, nice. I, I am off the grid. Ooh, bear jerky. <sighs> I never tried bear jerky ever. We had emu jerky. That was good. Emu, yes, ostrich and emu. But no, I never have bear jerky. You know, I know. Yeah, yeah, we're not done. Yeah. With it. Now I'm gonna um later on I want some bushes. Actually I might do it right now. Some bushes. Hey Deb. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna paint some right now, but I have to go over it later. So there is some bushes. The Eiffel Tower can be right behind it. And you guys, I'm doing it off my memory. <laughs> but my inspiration is in this phone. I couldn't have it. So just if you're from friends, don't make fun of me. Okay? If you're from friends, I know, I know, I know. You've seen it many times. It might be a lot uh, up with the bush and everything. I know that the Eiffel Tower, the best view is from the bridge. Somewhere, I don't know, in the picture, I see a bridge somewhere. But don't make fun of me, okay? I, I haven't been to Paris yet. I just heard a lot about it. My client talk a lot about it. So I want to go there one day. Some uh, some client don't like it. Some client love it. So it's a mixed match. So I have to be there for myself. I think I just remembered. I got to close the phone. Okay, now I am going to kill this. Uh, I do want this bush to not be like this. I want it to be kind of flash. Okay, ready. Kia. This one seems like it's already done. I am going to chrome this one with unicorn chrome. So, the chrome that I am going to chew. I know I, I chew this a lot, but I love this. We have to go with coral again. Because I'm mad about coral. I love coral. That's five color, but oh man, I actually keep kicking Karen out all the time. I'm hoping when she gets this new modem that was gonna fix that. Oh yeah? Oh she have a new modem? modem Hello, inspiration now. Hola. Hola inspirations now. Como estas? Yeah, see, so I don't have to have chrome base because art gel is uh, no wipe, so I can just drop chrome directly on it. Doesn't matter what colors, kind of go ahead and chrome it all. Mm -hmm. Coral, are you coral? Because I just love the blue that it's give. 
and a yellow coral when it comes to like white base a yellow coral i just love this blue this blue to me is so heavenly i just love it and it's still not very colorful which is perfect um because i really want that red to pop of course it's color but it's not intense it's not like a red you know or, or orange i hope when I put it on, I hope I like this not gonna be colorful because I don't want it to be colorful. Now later on, I have to put some black on it again because I don't want the bush to be even though this is kind of pretty. It's kind of greenish, coral and greenish because it's gonna be rose bushes later. Just want to make sure I chrome everything. So now we have a simple background, but not boring. Quite interesting, actually. Did you have to use top coat to chrome into it? No. Art gel will take care of it for you. I use art gel because, I like, you know, I'm going to dust a few layers on. I don't want to top coat this and chrome this. It's too many layers for this one. So I use black and white art gel. That's why I can just chrome immediately on. See that? No top coat. All right. So I am going to start painting right away. First, I need to paint on... Um, I lost my fluffy... Oh, no, I'm trying. Oh. First, I want to uh, draw on a notepad for you guys to see the, the shape that I'm going to deal with. And while he's doing that, I will speak about the uh, Pro Shaker lamp. We like it. We like it a lot. We like it a lot. Um, what was I doing? Oh. I'm a, a note card. You draw artistically the single one. Uh yes, I do want an ink. All right, I'm gonna draw the woman first. So let's come over here and do the first cut. I need um I need an umbrella. One, two, three. It's going to be her shoulders. Her waist is going to be right here. Her waist. So I give her a slender waist. And this is going to be her sleeve. Okay. So she have a slender waist. Upper body. Right here. So it can be however you want. And then the dress. This is her butt. So right here. Coming out right here. So this is her little waist right here, her bust right here. So the red is her leg. We're going in like this. Let me see. Uh, there's no 60 second timer because it only needs 45 to do in seconds because of the power. Okay, just like this. Somebody asked just to Okay, so in the picture, it's long. I am, I, because it's, this is modern day. I don't want a long dress. I want a shorter dress. So about right here. About right here. Right. So we're going to draw her over here. So first is uh, her umbrella. This is a center. Going out. One, two, three, four, five. It's about to curve up here. So I'm going to curve it first. All right. Now I can just... If that even how you draw an umbrella. My, my inspo picture is on the other way. I just use my memory. <coughs> I'm sure this part doesn't exist. Yes. Yeah, it just go to here and then Actually. stop. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Forget about <coughs> this part right here. And then a waist going to be like this. So the way going to be tiny right here. And I give her a sleeve. Sleep right here. Now, going down, her butt is about right, right here. A little bigger than the waist. So, from here, you're going out. And then you go back in. Keep her one longer side by doing a sway. The other is slightly shorter. Something like this. And 
and let, let me just say this, Ken Dolls. I understand that this may seem like a bad thing. Your her her shop got broken into and everything got stolen. But Might be a good thing. But as soon as I have learned all things that seem bad, it's happened for always reason. turn out good. It just means you weren't on the correct path. Right. We're gonna look at this positively, and there may have just been something you weren't doing right, and this is redirecting you into a better way. Yeah, but how how Meme doesn't understand it is okay. So everyone have a path that plan now for them if you did everything right it's gonna go smoothly however if you kind of headed into a different direction um what the universe does is that it tries to bend you and yes. when the universe is bending you it's gonna make your life hell because it's gonna force you down to just one choice because if it present if it's easy for you if you have left with many choice you're not gonna know which one so when the universe want to bend you into a certain direction, it's going to force you down to just one joy, usually something horrible. Like, like we if, only change when right, it's bad. we only change when it's bad. So, so don't view it as a bad thing. It okay. might turn out really good for you at you the might end. Have the wrong product. You might, this might be a reformation. Right. However, you cannot be distracted by this right. because most people, they will sit down and they will dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. Just, put a plan into action like what i'm gonna do now what i'm gonna do now write down um remember to break your pattern or whatever it is that you planning on like if you you know sometimes people have big plan but sometimes that's not really a good plan that right. you don't know right. but life no the universe no so when it tries to bend you it's gonna make you miserable it's gonna make life really hard for you so so it will force you to bend because me as human, I understand that we don't, we always choose a comfortable way. Mm -hmm. We never choose a hard way unless we have to. So sometimes life makes us go the hard way. So let's not say sorry and things like that, because that's putting sorry into the universe. <laughs> no, no, just, just try to be aware at this moment. Try to keep your eye out there for opportunity, for, for like, you know, some people come to you and offer you something. Be aware of that, because knowing, that the your moment when something horrible to happen to me I mean doesn't have witnessed it many times many up close times. and personal yeah uh eiffel towers eiffel tower shape is a little tricky it have a bottom right here and a top but it's not going like a straight triangle like this okay what happened to it is it'll come to about right here and then and that's when it starts to build up. So this is the shape of the Eiffel Tower. Okay. So I'm going to draw this. And then a curve in the metals. Yeah, they're, they're still waiting for the Book of Life and Nails. <laughs> there might be something right here. Something like that. I never pay attention to the top. I know that it has something right here. And I know that it has something right here. Ish. Okay, I need a phone. I need to Google Alpha Towers. I forgot. <laughs> I couldn't rely on my memory, you guys. Uh, it looks great, though, for... Yeah, I, my memory is toasted. The middle like, one looks like a Star Trek. Symbol. I for Tower, I for Towers. Okay, good. All right, Eiffel Towers. I was kind of close-ish. It have another thing right down here too. Like another uh, bridge or something, something. Um, okay, so the dynamic is from here up, from here up. So it triangles and a curve. Mm. And then whatever going on in between, it just details. All right. So this is how we draw the Eiffel Towers. <laughs> so we have the top right here, okay? Now, um, I'm going to draw the inside first. And then the outside after.
I'm going to say the most ignorant thing I think I've ever said. I could have sworn that thing was red. Ah, uh, it's not. The Apple Towers? It's not red, honey. I picture it in my mind like that. Uh, it's because you're Americans. Oh. Americans. Oh, gosh. Gotta try your nuts, isn't it? Every time you hear a little ignorant comment oh, oh, about the word. <laughs> the view for American my... to the word is totally different. <laughs> it's so funny, you guys. Red it's funny to live in America and see American concept of the word. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, Lady Mo said, Tino, you and your boyfriend's words hit me hard. I was having a bad day with the client. It'll get better. Yeah, you just have to be aware, though. You have to be super aware of that. It's not an easy thing to, to do when you get in um to situation like that. Well, yeah, because it's bad news. Yeah, you can still want to muddy water. <laughs> Our experience say different. We have witnessed so many things that we're like, what the heck? And then I swear you not. About a year later, I look back and like, I so together. blessed that it's happened to me. <laughs> because if this haven't happened, I, we would never be here. Yeah. We'd still be at uh, the other place and stuff like that. Too many times. Too many times. I have burned down once uh, before to freak us out. Cause it's always. Down yeah. Owner dies, another one, and, uh. But when you touch it, not from that moment, but year later, like a year or two later, you look back, you're like, if that not happen, this will not happen. Right, you have to see the path that it made you take. I know that it's difficult to jump to the future, but man, when you look back at it, you're like, that had to happen. Okay, now, uh, so this is an Apple Towers. Uh, we want to draw it. We're going to draw it in silhouette. So all of this going to be black. I just draw the whole thing just to, to get a little uh, familiar with it. I'm not familiar with it. But when we draw it, it possibly be black like this. A silhouette of an Eiffel Tower. All right. So let's get drawing now. Before I draw, I better Google that umbrellas. Cause I have no idea what the umbrella look like. Uh, I should. Google red umbrella. <laughs> Anxious now tech said, you know, the wall's looking good. Well done. Super jealous watching you set up in the other live. I absolutely love organizing the nail stuff. Me too. Okay, so umbrella. Okay. Oh, it's interesting. I never noticed it like that. It's very interesting. It's flat first. Well, see, your umbrellas in your country are to block the sun. Ours see, I thought I would have cut. No, it's flat. And then it's going down. It's going down. And then the, the, the curb right here is very subtle, actually. Interesting. Oh, this is different. It's in a different angle. Right. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I like this angle. I like the angle. I'm going to try to make, make this angle. Is it because it's more difficult? No, it's just pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go out like a spider web. I assume to be the longest in the bottom. And this is a little shorter. This is a little shorter. And this is really short. There you go, that's the umbrella. Straight, straight. On the top, you don't uh, curve in, you just go straight. Now, on the side, just go a little straight. And then you're going to start having an indentation right here. See, right here, sort of curve in. See that? It's sort of curve in just a little bit. But up here, it's straight. Remember that curve in is like this. Okay. Up here, that's straight. It's not a curve. It's not like this. Don't do it like that. It's not a spider web. Most people would try to do it like, like this, like a spider web. It's not a spider web. I wouldn't want a spider web. All right, let's draw. Red first, of course, all the way. Fry red. <laughs> you know what? Um, what I'm going to use this on gels.
Okay, her whole body one from here to here. Okay, so the umbrella is almost one third of her body, but more than one third. A little bigger. You want that to be a really big umbrella. Let me draw the body first. Cause I want to make sure that umbrella is big. So black art gel first. This is going to be her whole body. So... Um, where do I find the trays you use for your polishes? Um, and then essential category. No, no, no. I think they mean the big trays, possibly. Oh. Actually, I don't know. Be more specific on that one. Like you mean this palette right here? I don't know. It, the, you mean the palette right here is in the essential uh, category? Do you have to, to top coat before? You start painting with red in case there's a mistake. If you use acetone, it will remove the chrome. Yes. If you uh, want to be safe, you put on a coat and uh, preferably matte because matte are easy to paint on. I'm just doing directly on this so I cannot make any mistake. Um, so if you're afraid of making a mistake, you have to uh, put a matte on. It will make you feel safe first. Uh, matte are easy to draw. Hello, Milky Power. Okay, I have her body. I'm gonna draw her legs now, but later I have to go back. I cannot leave any black on her leg. I have to go back with nude. But now I'm just, I'm just gonna see. Plus, this black will add like a shadow on her leg too. That'd be nice. Longer legs, like supermodel legs. You hold her, you store them in. Oh, yes, those are the, the foam things. Oh, the foam tray is in the essential category also. Uh, this one right here is called uh, foam holder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just dipped myself in red. <laughs> okay, so her arm is going to be right here. I'm going to draw her arm first. She's going to fold her hand right here so and then a little sleeve for her good morning Jen and just to be sure I'm just gonna outline the umbrella right now and in black, just to make sure it's where it is. Just a little bit. I'm going to have to cover all red later. So if you don't want to outline it, it's fine too. Mm. I want to make sure that it's correct. You kind of gave her a hooker stance. That's good. I mean, what kind of woman walk along in the rain? It has to be a hooker, right? No. Huh? I mean, chances are, yeah, but no. Someone else. I can tell what mood I mean when walk along in the rain. Good morning, Nora. I'm gonna, uh, I was his husband. <clears throat> when I walk in the lawn in the rain, I want some money. It's start to get really, really big. I need to uh, watch the side of it just to make sure it doesn't go crazy. <laughs> this right here seems to be a perfect umbrella. Maybe I should stop. I mean, I can keep going. That'd be risky a little bit. Oh, wow. What's that? We're lucky to have dogs. Wow. 
pulled down that big concrete thing. Well, lucky it didn't rain on him. Kevis. Hi, no, no, no. Oh my God. You remember the, um, you remember the cheetahs I posed yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right, it's the face of the cheetah. But before that, I posted. You mean, like, that means she didn't know that I'm going to do it. Like, psychically. And the wow. cheetah that she does, it had drift underneath too. Oh. Good I never seen a, I never seen a person draw cheetah than boot drift or under it. Never. That's why I think of it. I, I never yeah. seen it before. That means she's in tune with you. Yeah, I have seen cheetah in so many ways. No one ever boot trip below its uh its head. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I'm sure somewhere, but I never seen it like made it into Instagram. Okay, now I'm gonna put red on this. Oh my God! He said, "Don't the, not the self, don't walk in the rain alone anymore." <laughs> I, I don't know, you guys. I don't know what kind of mood they're in, but I know what mood I'm in if I walk along the rain. I'm looking for prey. For prey? For prey. <laughs> for be the prey part? Yeah. Mm. So don't look, don't walk along the rain or you might get picked up. Yeah, be safe, Nora. <laughs> Morning, Sassa Frost. You know, if I get picked up, if I even go for it, I don't know what the price, I don't know how to charge them. <laughs> Just like people ask how to charge for nail, I don't know how to charge if someone pick me up. They don't tip me. Tip me well. Like, what should I use as a base price? Probably start out with 500. <laughs> no, that they wouldn't pick you up in the street. They'll go to a fancy place for yeah, 500. Yeah, I feel like you gotta be somewhere drinking champagne for 500. <laughs> I don't know. The inflation price might be more now. So maybe a thousand. Maybe into the thousand. I don't know. I don't mind if it into a thousand. Now hold on, honey. You may be getting unprofessional. Be careful. <laughs> All right, serious. Okay. So, um, you still see the black behind it, right? So now I. After I'm done with here, I'm done curing. When I'm shading it, I'm going to have all this outline as a guideline for me to shade it. So um, I'm going to go back with a little bit of lighter red, a little bit of deeper red, stuff like that. Kia. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Mona. Hi, Julia. Hi, Mona. London um, Mona, no, uh Monet have been missing class. Yeah, family uh, issues. That's all right. We've all been doing this together. Yeah. Stand class. Number 14. Deep red. Deep red red. And I will take stand class. And uh, let's, shade. let's start over here for shading. And Mona's, it will get better. Yes. Is that the one that have the shot break no, into? No. Oh, that's bright. You. Thank you. Key a little bit. If you ever get thirsty, I have this water for you. Thank you. Mm, I need an ombre brush. I know that it's so tiny, it's not even worth it to you an ombre brush. Good morning, Kika. The lamp is Pro Shaker. Let's look up Pro Shaker on the internet. Okay, I'm gonna plan it out just like this. Here. <laughs> That's how I feel, Jen. We're sending you love and hugs. Uh, do you also sell the brushes on your site? Mm -hmm. yes. It's in brush it category. Um, the ombre uh, and these are 10 millimeters. So, no, it's not sold out. You keep sending a whole bunch. <laughs> About seven or eight. Oh, seven or eight. Um, 
so it might be sold out or it might be not. You just have to check on it. Last time we checked that two plus it sold out, we waiting on it. But she might have some. Could we give her some last week? We have some uh from um Orlando show that we haven't give to her. It's just a a little bunch show, it's not much. Few. Yeah, just a few. We have this closet. We have stuff in the closet. That we don't visit very often. It's traumatizing. Back yeah. in the we have some leftover in Orlando. Okay. <clears throat> it might be at this if there's no longer a brush bundle. Okay. Still check the individual brush because they might not put it in a bundle because they don't have enough to put it in a bundle. That's definitely that is looking beautiful. I love that iridescent. Thank you. I'm glad I did that iridescent because my uh, original inspire it was black and white with a pop of red. But I like, but it's now, you know. Let's just jazz it up a little bit. And these look like rainfall to me too. And, and I would say if you're looking at the website and you see the 10 millimeter brush on there, then you might jet Kyla a text and say, hey, can I get the bundle? Or, you know, just ask. Nude. And it nude for the skin. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I use a nude uh, gel polish, I'm not sure if it will be strong enough. We will find out. I will try to use a cream nude. Some of this, so much All right, Nora. See you later, Nora. Safe travels. We will be thinking of you. She going somewhere? Yes, she's getting ready to travel, so she's going to be off for about a week. Some fun. It does. I'm just gonna use nude. It does cover it. If not, you can do like a little uh, one for a second time, but we don't need it. This black right here is at a shadow, it's perfect. So people know that it's two legs instead of just one leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First stop in New York with Florida. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Florida, that's the airport we always had. Orlando, that's when we always got lost in. Actually, not too bad. If I like her, I will give her a puss. A heart shaped puss. If I like her, let's see. I think if she's a street walker, you better give her a puss. I, I, I like I like her. Let's give her a little puss. Is it too low? No, it's not. Do a little circle. Pretty soon we're going to have an Airbnb nail situation going on. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, did, to, no. Yeah, go ahead. Did you do the dark background after the chrome? No, before the chrome. <laughs> because remember, unicorn chrome, it, it doesn't matter. The color is different. It's going to show the different in color. So this, I did black and white, and, and I mix it with a gray. So when I do unicorn chrome on, it's all show. All the color is show. It doesn't cover... Uh, color like solid chrome does is show the colors. Oh, we can't wait for you to use me there. Shenanigans <clears throat> got their package yesterday. Oh, nice. I keep her a little puss. Do you think that's a good idea? To keep her a little puss <laughs> so she doesn't look lonely. Without a puss, she'll look lonely. I don't. You don't like the puss? I don't like the heart part. Oh. Uh. Well, well, you didn't either. You wouldn't ask me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't feel it neither. 
Cause she look like she goes shopping. Right. I don't want she look like she goes shopping. I want to look like she's sad about something. Sad about something. Yeah. Definitely not a hard person. <laughs> yeah, she she's sad about something. Um, I will add some red fairy gel for her, so it's even make her umbrella more popping. Just that highlight, like one right here. That's highlight. Ooh, red shoe. Yeah, red shoe. That's it. We have to have red shoe. Hello, here for highlight. Well, welcome, Crystal Viva. She's obsessed with the page. Oh, kiss the diva. What are the qualities of fairy gel? Um, fairy gel is wrinkle free because it's made out of powder. So it doesn't matter how thick you do it, it's not gonna collapse on you. Um, it's care full care for 60 seconds, but but it's also withstand two second care. Fairy gel is glow in the dark. Um, that is its main purpose, it's glow in the dark, but it's perfect for ombre just because of the powder part. No, Alex says she's sad because she lost her purse. <laughs> Uh, it's very bright. All fairy tales neon. We actually don't have fairy tales that are not neon. Red, red. Yeah. I keep thinking about that fish in there. Okay. I never draw a stiletto at this angle before. I'll be very careful. See right now, I look a little big. I'm just gonna do one red dot. And if, if I'm not mistaken, it have a it have a pointy thing at the end, like a heel. And then that should be it because the other one should be in front of it, right? Let's see. Good morning, Elevin. Hmm. Still little rest the little in the back. Rest still little's heel. This could be I'm gonna try to find some that are in the back. Maybe put in the ass Do you have a a hooker shoe somewhere that I can see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me see a hooker shoe. Can I see one in the back? It's all on the side. Oh, this one is kind of in the back ish. Oh, I found one. This is an ugly shoe. But let me see. Oh, it's like a, it's like a big blob. Okay. I got it. I got it. It's, I think I got it. If I'm not mistaken, it should start out little and it's going to end up big. And then there is a point in the middle, which I'm gonna have to just put it in there. Where do you get the phone holder with a light on? It's in uh, shopcanvas.co. You just uh, go on shopcanvas.co and you'll find it. Do you want a whole hooker shoe or? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's a, a it's like a triangle. The thing is, you have to fit this little heel into the back of it, where it's the same color, so you have to match with shadowing. 
Okay, let's close it and zoom it in. Okay, here we go. If I can even see that well. Some red fairy gels. Oh, that's far away. Okay, this. <laughs> that's funny. You know, Let me see. Okay, okay. No one's gonna zoom <laughs> in that. No one's gonna zoom in like that. That's good. Okay, good, good. All right. Okay, so Eiffel Towers. That is very, uh, I need to talk about this. It's matte. Matte. Yes. That was matte. I can't wait to see it. Right now, it's distracted by all the little glare. Oh, I have to top coat this. My, my last uh, red umbrella uh, version that I did was five years ago. Um, it was ugly for uh, right now opinion. Back then it was pretty, but now when you look back, you're like, hell, I need to hide this. <laughs> so I did, I hide it. Kill this. It will never see the light of day ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw Eiffel Tower now. The umbrella is everything. You are so right. The umbrella is everything. It's actually the sole essence of the whole set. It's like the focal point. Mm -hmm. It's mood. It's the mood. Uh, this is a little risky, but whatever. I should talk about this first. Do you really want to do this, Tino? Yes. the bottom first just just in case okay I have one little thing first Another little thing right here. Okay, now a little curve in the bottom, and we are good to go. And I, I will have crisscross pattern right here, crisscross. Another Chris Scott pattern, oppositely. I think we all hold our breath. Hold our breath for, for when, this? When you do line work, yes. No, for this, you can just go to town with it, please. It, it's not beside. You draw in a silhouette. You don't need uh, to hold your breath, please. Thank, thank okay. you. We're not done with the back wall, though. And yes, he has two accounts, and then he, he invites himself on one of the other accounts. Yes. This account right here is uh, what we focus for education. Uh, your gel paint or paint gel color need top coat or can be left with no white? Okay. It is no white. Okay. It is no white, but um, if you leave it without top coat, it needs to have a reason. Um, one of the purpose of the no white is chrome adhesion like this. 
chrome adhesion. Okay. That's another purple. I don't know why. Um, also, it can be left alone, but you should shoot it. Okay. Because if I want to draw this, and if I don't have a purpose for leaving without top coat, then I will top coat everything when I'm done because still you want a high coat. You want either high shine or matte. That is my preferred high shine or matte. So the only re only time that I leave also without top coat is that I want to do emboss. Emboss, I usually sugar it because it makes it more solid. Uh, to, to, to not sugar it and to dry it and just leave it, you have to you have to be well aware of the uh, volume that you put on because if you put on too thick, then it don't have um a long shelf life. Only have like three weeks before it's gonna cause some kind of issue or blood is not high class. So the the no white purpose, the um the uh ability to go without top coat to me is for me to crumb it or sugar it to do other tricks to do other tricks. Not the final, but it's not the 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 um you wouldn't let him walk out without that top coat in some occasion if if i chase after a look but i'm gonna draw it very thin so it's not that they can do it they just have to be careful if they choose that option they have to be careful of what they're doing so it's not too thick any glamour girls here the whole reason we were doing friends Hi, let us climb more. Bonjour. Oh, David on dying says Dustin is Missouri getting the snow today here in Nebraska, which touches us. Uh, they're getting, they've already got, they're looking at six to 10 inches. Oh. We, don't, we don't watch the news, so we don't ever know anything. Bonjour. Bonjour, Monsieur. I will not be moving firewood closer to the house. Bonjour. Today we did, uh, we did. We did France. We did love in Paris. And we make sure she alone too. But here, see, see, there's nobody else. She's completely alone. She just walk in the rain and feel in the mood. Sad and sultry. Okay. Why did I say that came together pretty damn good? You were I, 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 have, through it like it was impossible. I have a little thing right here. Well, her body is everything body is everything because if it's not right it's not gonna look right even though if it's a silhouette it have to look feminine you know what the way she walk is annoying me a little bit <laughs> it's very slutty i need to make it more appropriate this hip need to be up a little bit because she dropping her hip when she walk because she does look a little sad but like a sugar daddy's gonna roll over right her right mm -mm, we don't want that different. we don't want that we want her to be innocent in this can I interest you in a follow-up, Kristen? Are we adding eight raindrops? Not yet. Ah, uh, it should look better now. Do you look better now, Dustin? She not. I never saw it look bad, but I like it. Yeah, I like it. Ah, uh, people say slutty is good. <laughs> All right. Careful what you wish for. It's our. We yeah, be careful what you wish for. Well, because Tino you know, feel ah. Uh, not slutty well, today, but be careful. Tomorrow might be different. Cure this. All right, I need roses all over, but first I need to add that to the Eiffel Tower. So I need black stained glass, number 11. Number 11. Stained glass gels. And I am going to paint the top of the Eiffel Towers in black stained glass gel so it looks like it's really high up there. And then slowly I am fading it down. See through shirt. And then the bottom is not as much as the top. The top is really dark, but in the bottom, you still see some detail ish, just like this. So that is how I like to add that to my alpha tower. 
way better than when it don't have any shadows here. <coughs> she's sensual. That's what they say. She's sensual. She's not slutty. She's sensual. sensual. <laughs> Honey, it's the same thing to me. It really is. It's just, it's just sensual, slutty, cost more somehow. Yeah. It's not like the backseat quickie. In fact, that's why my that's why I have to explain from my friend all the time. <laughs> At any time the times that they use a slutty word, I say no, it's sensual. They never get it. Um shine or math are completely up to you because um I like the mat when it's I like her mat. But if you can see the difference between the mat unicorn and the shine unicorn, I really love the shine unicorn. Um, uh, I can do this actually. I can shine just the background that she walk on. Let's try that. Just what she walk on because it's raining, right? It should be wet. The street should be wet. So I I make it wet for her. It's not funny, hmm. but the street right here I make it wet, <laughs> wet for her. So now she walk on a wet road. Good morning, Nuggies. Or actually after um, if you want, you can add all around her too. Um, but I, I think just this for now. Later on, we'll think about it. Later, because this kind of beautiful in its own way. It's more neutral now. It shows its red more. I might just leave it like that. The sky looks beautiful. Shine uh behind the tower. I think so too. However. We math it, so we have to math this, and then we can go back and see what we need to do. Okay, so I need a filler brush for this, and I need to add red rose. Oh no, I don't need to use paint. Oh, where's my glam gels? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. I don't make you pain. Stud it up. Stud it. Don't, don't pull it up and stud it. Stud it while the brush is still in the bottle. Stir it? Mm -hmm. Stud it so it's, it's plentiful. Um, I don't have a lot of gels for this, so I'm just going to remove extra gels. Doesn't would you find me some uh, ombre sponge, please? <laughs> Maybe just a shine sky. I think so. Oh, Gentilini say maybe there should be some re re reflection of her. In oh, yes. Oh. I think so too. Oh, that's such a good idea. That is such a good idea. Like a little red and flat. Oh, yes. I love this. All right, now uh, I am going to take the sponge. And remove some top coat first. Because I don't like to have too much top coat. Now, I will pick it up with my filler brush. And put it all over this bush. Like a rose bush. All different size glitters. All over this bush. Oh my God, that is pretty. This alone could be another design right here. That's pretty. Oh, let me see if you can see it well on camera. Okay. So now I am gonna tear this and match this completely. Let's come back with her. She's need a, a shadow. Okay, an umbrella first. A shadow of an umbrella, I'm gonna take red. Red art gels and, and so let me paint it an umbrella first. So umbrella will be right about here. It'll be where umbrella is. 
And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cut it because the row is not a, a flat rib reflection there's water in it so water move everything so i have to distort that reflection of the red by removing gels right here so it's gonna blow up a little bit And then black stained glass gel. Have a wonderful day, Crystal Diva. Have a wonderful day. What do you think, Dustin? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Matt. Love it a lot. This is so romantic. Right. I feel like I need some chocolate. Every time the thing gets romantic, I need some chocolate. I know, I know. It's not an excuse to eat sugars. But chocolate is romantic. Anytime I watch Titanic, I eat chocolates. I want to say once a year. Is that yeah. <laughs> yeah. What were those things called from Australia? Tim Tams? Tim Tam. Oh, that is good. Mm. Yeah, chocolate. Anytime you need to cry, like when you want something that makes you cry, you have to have chocolate. It go hand in hand together. It's help a lot. With the experience. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, I got a feeling Pino's brain is going to be in a museum someday. My brain is going to be in a museum? Mm -hmm. Ooh, like an experimentation. Oh, that's I mean, nice. It definitely works different. In a great way. It does? It does. I, back and I don't know. Wheels. I don't know. I don't know how different this was, but my parents stuck me into Catholic school. They said you need to be fixed. Yes. Uh -huh. You need to be fixed. So stuck me into Catholic school. And man, that purpose was so hot. I totally defeat the purpose. Mm -hmm. Look at you smiling. Okay, I need this crown to be wet too, but not the rose bush. And the sky, seriously, I really do need something in the sky. Um, I'm not gonna do it now though, because we never know. I need to uh, continue so I can uh, further later analyze it because this subtle background right here, I also could need it a lot. I could need it bad, I just don't know. Kill this. You know what? I need some shadow too. Good morning, Elizabeth. After such inspiration from Chantolini, I have to have. I hope I didn't. I hope I. Oh yeah, I did. I top coat this. All right. I need some. I need some shadows. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just think about the concept, but now I have. Someone have inspired me on the details. So now there's gonna be shadow on everything. Because it's wet, everything's wet, it needs shadow. Yeah. Um, we need to continue with this finger and this finger. This is gonna be super easy, it's gonna be super romantic. I have a feeling that um that you gonna do this quite a bit. It's a, a depiction de of, um, cause it's Valentine. All the road, all the tree, everything is, uh, everything is neutral. Black and white, wet, gray, like this. 
everything is like this background but the leaf is gonna be deep red uh not deep but bright red bright red for the leaf so our gel out ready black and white our gel just like this Rehydration. Now I can uh, make the road wet. Oh, we need cloud. We need cloud. This has put me in a mood, guys. Mm -hmm. This is so romantic. Here. <clears throat> all right, black and white art gel all over this too. And then just smudge black over it, like a, uh, uh, let me show you, like a reflection. So I'm gonna do white first, all over. Uh, I use art gel so I can chrome this. Uh, if you don't have art gel, then after you paint this, you have to put on a layer of chrome base to chrome it, but I don't need to. And you, so you just make everything white. I have some black right here. You see, it's going to contaminate my white. But it doesn't matter because the black going to be on there later. Cure this. You got to have an end vision in mind for that kind of thing. Just a blur vision. Anything can change. Mm -hmm. I never start with a sharp vision because, number one, you have to spend so much time just to think about a, a detailed vision and then try to store it in your head. I'm not going to do that because number two, everything can change. When you start seeing your vision, you can either hate it or love it or thinking, well, maybe this can make it better. So uh, maybe it not need to be in there. So I always start, start with a blur vision. I never start with a sharp vision. Kill this. Oh my God, how romantic is that? Oh, Paris, oh, Ooh, Paris. How say I love you in, uh, in our friends, in, in Trench. I never know that, surprisingly. Uh, Amor? No, Amor, yeah. yeah. Something about Amor. Amor is Amore, Spanish right. too, Amor. Yeah, okay, now I need black. This black is white. I'm just gonna start out with some gray first. Mon Amore. Amore, oh, Amore, this nails. How say nail? How say this nail set? Oh, Amores, Amores. Okay. Someone coming? Possibly. If coconut water. So after dry stroke, this is dry stroke. Dry stroke means uh, you only have paint and you have barely enough paint. So when you don't have enough paint on it, everything is dry. When you put it on there, what happens is it's not going to be on smoothly because you don't have enough. You only have a little bit. So it's going to be cut like this. This is an effect that I also desire on wood technique or a certain technique like that. I am really desire the effect. So now i need to take a clean brush preferably a clean filler brush uh, actually first i need some more black on here especially up on the top Uh, what brush is it? This is a flat brush. Flat brush. I use it for dry stroke. It's big. It's convenient for me. I can put a little bit of paint on it. It will do the job. If take a smaller brush, it might not turn out dry brush like this. It might be a wet stroke because a smaller brush can hold 
small amount of pen, perfectly fine. But this big brush cannot hold a tiny amount of pen, so it do this, this perfect effect for me. Now I'm getting a filler brush out and uh, some, um, let's try alcohol for a little bit too weak, then I try out some. Whenever I dip and let it and remove the pen, I prefer alcohol because I have to re-dip it many times. Uh, but if it's too weak for me, then I wouldn't use it. Let me see. It's not, it's good. It's good enough. All right, so I'm taking alcohol. Alcohol. It looks like liquid, but it's not liquid, it's alcohol. And I'm erasing gel vertically. Over here, the same, th same thing, moving child vertically. I was so excited. Because you thought it's coconut water? I, I did. And then it wasn't, it was too small. Uh huh. And then it said it was from Garland, Texas. Garland, Texas. Garland? Oh, uh, I okay. do. Oh, someone I... sent me something. No. Well, yeah. Uh, is it listening now? No, it is not. It's oh. Not oh. So sorry. Uh. I know. I have my same thought, too. Hmm. I need to be a little shorter than this. Okay. So I'm just starting from here. And see, it's still wet. I haven't even cured this. So I'm just brushing oppositely before I'm burning. And straight down now I'm brushing it across okay so now I am taking this up here and I going back but just on the side not in the middle just on the side like this I like that look just right there. And, and now I am taking black gels and adding a little tree, little uh, brand for it. So from here, this long line is tree. So I'm adding brand above it like this. See it? The tree. Give a little tree here and there. Nice little tree for me. It's like a picture I'm not singing, by the way. It's just chanting. Is it different? It's different from singing. That's why I do when I was little. Anytime people make fun of my singing, I say, I'm not singing. I'm chanting. Somehow that feels worse. It is. Especially when we're looking at a creepy dark picture five looking forest. It's not gonna be creepy for long. I hope not. Okay. So uh these need to be down more. So it's equal with this. And though India. Hi, India. Hello. Oh, wow. Cat's claws. Fell asleep while watching because she's so wore out these days. Oh, Her we know what she did. Curricular activities. We know what she did. Wow. She know what she did. All right. So we have some gels. 
that start from here going all the way out good morning may hi may sorry yeah go all the way out take fill a brush where is my fill a brush fill a brush and get some gel and you're gonna just dab it slowly small right here and it's gonna get big and let's go Mm -hmm. Oh, we still have another nails. Done it. I thought that would be the end of it. Is that gonna be the end of it? Okay. And all the way up here too. Scatter to the distance. Far to the distance right here. We want to do it until we don't see it anymore. Because the road is long. Long road. Far away from here. Yeah. All the way through the distance. We don't see what ahead. It's all, it's all uh, faded ahead of it. That is. Let's see. I'm going to dab some more so it starts to disappear in the distance. In fact, it doesn't need this much tree in the middle. It needs to be gone. Um, are you adding chrome powder to this? Of one? course, honey. Of course. What lighting do you use for your hand videos? My hand video? I use this. Oh, no, outdoor lighting. Oh, outdoor. Yeah. My uh, teaser. My teaser, you outdoor. But my video, I use this lighting. Uh, let me see. Is it perfect yet? It's have created the mood for me. I can comfortably hear this now to make it more subtle. Here. All right, let's get this another one. All right. So now, oh, joy, oi, I'm like, yeah, Alex. I reload. Okay. Now, see this? I just dry, dry brush this. See this? Just dry brush. Dry brush means you don't have enough paint on it. You just dry brush this all the way down. Dry brush this. Now, fill a brush and I'm just going to get asked on because alcohol is way too slow for me. It's way too slow. Now, in the middle, the tree is smaller. And then, as it's going out, it's got bigger and bigger. Kind of like a little optical illusion. Okay. Now, you want to stroke it straight across like a road. From right here. Okay, so from right here, I stroke it like this. Okay, so that's a wet road. I would like to apologize for your loud dogs. Oh. They are watching the rain hit the pool and they think that that is the coolest thing and they need to go get something. Oh, okay. And now I'm going to take some black and I'm going to stroke it for right here. I'm going to stop right here. The next one is a little bit below that. The next one a little bit below that. So it starts to go out like a triangle. Okay, and when you're done, you can add little branches for the tree, like this. Mm -hmm. 
you know, this is just insane. Your talent you possess is unmatched. Thank you. Okay, just tiny little tree. And then now, bushes. Bushes. Mm -hmm. So the road down here is big, but as you go, it gets smaller and smaller. So I'm going to start right here. Draw one straight line. Start right here. Draw one straight line and going out. See, it's smaller right here. And it's got big at its go. So it's big down here and it's smaller up here. Now you get a um, fill up brush again. And dab it in, dab it in. What they say? Nothing. Well, I just read it. Just compliment for you. Compliment. Oh, um, like oh, thank you. Just like this. Ooh, nails by Elaine. Got her order today. They're oh. all anticipating playing the product. Ooh. I can't wait to use it because there's such a difference. Mm -hmm. So easier. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's red. Yeah, this one too. All right, let's unicorn this one with coral unicorn chrome all the way. I don't need any top coat on this because this gel, this art gel right here is no white. So I can just rub from directly on this art gels. Oh man, Uh oh. Oh my God, they're all muddy. Uh, oh. You're having fun. No. You're having fun. You have to lock the door. You cannot come in and jump on the bed. No. Wow. Uh, oh, wait, good question. That <gasps> you got, oh, you got coral unicorn. I need to find the art gel on Dreamtime Creations. Do you know what category I would find it in? Colors. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, most people thought the art gel would be in gel effect. Uh, it's not in gel effect because it doesn't make gel effect, even though the chromium ability is also a gel effect. Uh, art gel is my main color, uh, my main tool for color. So I put all the pigment chrome and art gel into colors because that's my skin. We use it as skin for colors. Anything else that art gel do is extra that I haven't mentioned. But the main purpose of art gel is for the skin. Well, welcome, Siren Fantasies. Hi, Siren Fantasy. Just kind of post your device and check it out. See your profile and see that you're alive and is now here. Oh, Siren Fantasy. I love the name Siren Fantasy, too. I feel like I'm a mermaid back in my old day. <laughs> like my, my past life, I think I'm a mermaid. Not a Disney mermaid, like an evil mermaid that trapped men onto the ship <laughs> and uh, wrecked the ship. I think I'm one of the mermaid. <laughs> I believe mermaid is the one that wrecked the Titanic. I probably one of them. I probably was in there and then I die and then I reincarnate. Good morning, Nicole. So, are you at a down where you can answer a question? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So, this is off the, off the beaten path. <clears throat> what advice to someone who wants to start a nail business and getting clients. I am new and in Germany and not even, wait, I don't think, so basically I don't know anyone to try to figure out how to get it. Okay. So you gotta get good. Yes, Um. so there's two type of people that start a nail business. Type number one, they have something that are special that people want, so they're like, I'm gonna go from there. Like when I first start out, I can design, I can do art way before. So I have something to offer on the table. So if you have something to offer, then you choose us first. Like if you, um, if you like to draw and design or if you make layer or you get like glitters, any, any specialty that bring you into this business, you drag it out first because that's something that will impress people. Now that's type number one. Type number two is you just see people do it. So you want to get into it too. Um, Either way, uh, you first have to know all the basics on nails, meaning all the basic chemicals, uh, all the um, 
knowledge of a foundation or gel or you know what i mean like basically you gotta know that before you boot on the base coat you need to prep your nail you, you know all that, that basic order. step like you have to know that if you have oil on your nail it's gonna chip so all the basic step probably in school or just learn from people stuff like that but you have to get the basic down first then after the basic down there is your journey from uh, education to product so you have to know product and you have to know technique so technique is like this this is not a technique this is a design a design is something that you make of the technique that you know now in tino World shop we offer a lot of technique technique is like if you want it to blend like pigment well you're gonna know what's you're gonna put on so you can blend the pigment um or uh if you want chrome how you're gonna do it so though a technique uh if you want to do the design to be chrome but the background is not be chrome how are you gonna do it so though different technique is what you need to learn what you need to know memorize all the product you have to know what it do um it's functionality and um Beside, on the side, learning the technique, learning the product. So that is your second step. Why are you doing it? Um, I'm assuming that you have another job before you jump into this, right? But if you just jump into this, you haven't had client yet, but you haven't had anything to back you up. So at that point, then you also, beside learning on technique and learning on product, you also have to work, right? So you have to do now when you're working, um, choosing client. At first, you need to work somewhere uh, that doesn't really matter. Somewhere you can, fuck up, like as a mall or at a Walmart or at a store in a big metropolitan area um, that you find a lot, a lot of guinea pig. I'm not calling them clients, I'm calling them guinea pig. People that are looking for cheap quality, um, they don't care about the quality, they're just looking for a quickie, you know, right. cheap manicure in and out. With acrylic set, they don't have enough money to afford a right acrylic set. So they go around looking for a $25 acrylic set. People like that, a big in metropolitan um, area, you need to target them because you need a real human to hone the skill on. Um, in those area, you wouldn't worry about keeping those kind. You just really want them. And they want you too because at this point, you should not be expensive, right? So you are out of practice. And they want you too because they they there for cheap things so they don't care and you don't care neither you just really want some hand to practice because you have fake hand fake hand is not like real hand it doesn't move like real hand um it's actually uh, people have fake hand they uh, sell it to students to use it but uh, really when it comes down to it it's just uh, money but to me real hand does it all a fake hand does not cut it some sometimes i find a fake hand holding a fake hand is kind of mess me up a little bit too because when i hold a real hand it's totally opposite um and israel you said there's no no such thing there nursing homes yeah yeah those ladies will appreciate it just anywhere that you don't care about keeping the client anywhere uh, if you don't have it then just do it in your family you just need a lot of guinea pig at first you need a lot um yeah, and I can understand from friends, so that might be a lot of play like this. Because i telling you from a standpoint in United States, and United States have places like that. where But you can find nursing home, stuff like that too. Um, orphanage or wherever, they just want to get some cheap TV or even free, now said. But after you comfortable, not in skill, but in deal with client, because that also is a skill dealing with clients. Imagine doing this and have to deal with them at the same time because they're bored and they have nothing else to do and they want to mess with your timing. And they don't respect your time. Right. So you have to learn how to deal with people. You have to learn the struggles. Uh, after that, uh, you have to um, either apprentice at some place, not apprentice, but basically asking for work at some place just to start out building your clientele or you can go on your own. You can go on your own a little slower, but it's a smarter choice because you got all the money. You don't have to share it with anyone. You can just run, run a little studio. You don't have to be big, big fancy salon. Just you in it. Right. Have been cheap enough play for you in it. You get client. Maybe slow because you, you have to find your client. You, you cannot work on the client that already there. If you um asking for a job in the shop, then you will have client that is already there. They have, but they're going to monitor them and 
you're gonna get a, a cut of a percentage, which to me is just the drip off it, it. And then you have to deal with the boss. It's just not a good way for you to start, but it's a most common way for people to start is working with somebody else. But nowadays, the trend is rising on working for yourself. Uh, everybody, everybody do it. And, and you gotta realize that there's gonna be a difference between when you're working in a salon and they're trying to push numbers, as opposed to if you're an artist, there's gonna be a conflict of interest there. If there is a client that walk in into the salon, give you 20 bucks, you better believe that they are out to get them. And next time you might be on lunch break, you might be uh, with your family, they will snatch that client that give you 20 bucks, they will snatch it right away. Mm -hmm. They will say shit about you like, uh, oh, this, this set is good, but uh, there's a little lifting right here. Um, this color joy, I totally will go with this color joy. In the matter of 30, 30 minutes of you not in that, they will steal your client right away. Um, that is just doing work good. If you're good, they're gonna give you hell because they're jealous of you. Um, the boss, I don't know, if you have a good boss, that's great. If you have a bad boss, that's just, another thing add into the package so um either way working for staff working for other people that is how you start uh but if you're, when you're good <laughs> they find you right but i'm just talking from a standpoint of a person who started out from ground zero they are not good right i'm, I'm judging from that standpoint that you are not good when you start out that's why i'm telling you to go to nursing home or ma or big make your top pollen area not to make money yeah you make money but you also need to hone the skill because i'm just in the standpoint that not good but when they're ready i'm still judging from the standpoint that they are not good but they're ready to work they're ready to own a client they're ready to keep a client when you start out you're not ready to keep a client you're ready to get rid of a client so you can pass through them like playing card so you can get you can be ready you can be confident when you done with that, now you're confident. You might not draw in a really good. You might not good at nail art yet, but you're confident. You're like, I'm ready to please a client. I'm ready to keep a client at that point. You either work for somebody else or you work for yourself at that point, right? Still, you're not good yet. I'm still judging from that standpoint, but you can keep a client now by doing something simple for them. So the first step is always fill your book. When you fill your book, I, I don't, um, I'm not very choosy when I fill my book. When I first fill my book, I can jot a little cheap, whatever, I don't care. Um, uh, the client, I don't really care, neither. Um, they might be a little difficult, or they may be a little here and here. I don't care, I just need to fill my book. When I can fill my whole book, that is when I start selecting client. I'm at it. Um, hopefully by that time you're already a little good. If you're not good yet, then you cannot start that process yet. You have to deal with those people that you have in right now, which is okay. Um, um, they're not passed by client, but they're not really forever client either. They in between, they temporary. Uh, use math to put it on here. So that is what you have to deal with um, until you know that you are some t someone special in town. You know that uh, this ombre right here, you can do it a tiny bit better than everybody else. Um, you know this design that not a lot of people do around the area. So you kind of make a little attention for yourself. And when that happens, you can start going into power right away. So that is when you start raising your price. Only a little. It depends on how you, good you become. Here, this. If you're not really good, then still, the power is not really yours. Um, you still have to just conform to them. Oh, I forgot the glam step when I'm talking. Uh, you take the glam gel out. Um, so, where was I at? Oh, so when you're ready to select your client, when you're ready to to actually uh, advance, assuming at, that by that time, you should know all level one technique and you should have a pack of product that you can use on any special effect that they require. So at that point, you raise your price a little bit or a lot, up to you, but you only raise your price for one client at a time. You don't raise your price for the whole bunch because you feel in that book. Now no one knows you raise the price. You call your first client secretly Rate and pry on them to see if they go for it. If they don't go for it, then they're out. That's 
at that time i'm assuming that you have people asking for appointment because if you don't have people asking your appointment you cannot start that process right you have to start that process when you have like when you have about 20 people asking for just for your appointment but your book your book already full you cannot squeeze anyone in that is when you should raise your price on one client um if that client out now you go back to the people that ask you for appointment you say i have a spot you name your price right away so you know if they're going to be a client or not my way is always the best way is to set them an standing appointment so i tell them the new people i say um i have three slots the first slot is thursday every three week at five o'clock the second slot is tuesday every two weeks at six o'clock uh the um the next slot is saturday every three weeks at uh, four o'clock um when you and i would write down a policy when you choose in this spot it will be your permanent standing spot i call it standing spot just so i don't sound very uh forceful i say uh this is your standing spot and this is my rules um if you're uh late for an appointment if you turn it late we cannot continue your appointment because that's uh we're booking back to back um no car no show you will be removed in first strike there will be no second chance for you um if you call for ahead 24 hour um i expect in that spot to be paid for um because that is a time slot safe safe for you uh no you're not gonna get an acceptance at first that you're gonna try for about um five people or six people even 10 people before a first person say yes depending on how good you are uh I mean, five years later, you're really good. I mean, the first person is going to say yes because your reputation is built at that point. But when your person is not built yet, assuming that you have some photo in your profile that can show how good you can do. Uh, at that point, assuming people already see your profile, that's why they're asking for you. When your first person say yes, yeah, that is your first real client. Your first real client because they are also... Um, going in accepting your pride uh your uh rules everything like that will make life easier for you kids let me see hey happy birthday jenny boo kids um anyway so you move out to the second person to the third person just like that you slowly raise your price on all your clients take like about a year or two before you got um um a serious number of clientele that are perfect actually uh, at that point uh, when they first come in you also have established your power by getting to know them uh, to see if you like them because if you don't like them that person needs to be out really quick yes. um, uh, that environment of um, doing now that uh, environment of you doing now on wouldn't have any stress or stress-free you have to establish from the get-go, from the moment you raise your client, your client, that client have to be perfect for you. Uh, depend on who you are as a person. Um, we can handle a lot of clients because we're very open-minded. Um, so we can deal with everybody. Um, we like variety. Right. Uh, so depend on you. If you want a bunch of classy girl, or if you want a bunch of ghetto girl, or if you want nurses. <laughs> I don't know who will want nurses um, that couldn't wear a lot now, or you want a bunch of teenage girls so you can keep up on trend. Either way, I, my best advice for you is go with everything. Go with everybody so you can be flexible. Feel the variety. Feel the variety out. It's uh, the whole journey probably take about three years for you to be, um, for you to be super strong, making serious money. Um, but if you don't take correct route, you really don't want to end up in the shop working your entire life underneath someone else in a shop because after 15 or 20 years, your back will give out on you. Um, your arm um, start to develop carpal tunnel, your back will give out on you. So this is a, uh, a beginning phase for you to, to, to build for yourself before you can get out of that world and get into something better like be a press on shop uh like be a press on artist where you have to 
reputation, your worldwide audience is watching you and one the one you make, you now don't have to deal with people. You can do press on shot, uh, press on um, set, draw them high price for it, 300 bucks a pop, 200 bucks a pop, depending on how popular you are. That's it's another direction you can take, or you can take into a product direction, or you can own salon, stuff like that. So that is the step that you definitely have to get to eventually. You cannot work for someone else for your entire life because that is very tiring, that is very stressful, and you will remain mediocre. So you don't want that. You want to advance. Hello, Birgit. We've not seen you for a while. Hope everything is doing good. Uh, I couldn't tell you everything in just one day. So, so that is some uh, a little bit uh, that I can tell you just to get give you an idea of how this works. Because there's a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. Um, and write down your goals. Right. So it just depends on how you want to take it. We love you sitting here just talking away, painting your little ass off with no thought behind you. It's so beautiful. But really, you do want to advance into business. I have watched my mom. My mom back if I want her. Now my back is a little weak too. I have to like take care of it. So, so make sure you choose your choice wisely. Make sure you try to look five year or ten year down the road to see what you where you want to end up. If you're currently working in a place, you need to imagine yourself ten years from now in that place. Is that gonna be a happy ending or it's gonna be suck? <laughs> is it gonna be a happy ending or it's gonna suck big time? You have to establish that right now. Because if it's gonna suck, stuck in that play, then you need to plot your way out from now. You need to hone the skill. That is a weapon to get out. If you're not good, you will never have an option to choose in this line of business because there's a lot of nail tech out there. You're not gonna be able to choose. We have to conform to people. And female or caddy, they will make your life hell unless you have something for them to respect. If not, they will try to make it so difficult on you. The caddy. Okay. And plus, if, if, if you're not that good and you chart, you're in a play where you couldn't chart a lot for it, then you end up with people that doesn't have and that money would mean they would cause all kind of conflict to you just to get a freebie or whatever. The whole thing is a shit show. Shit show. Yeah. Um, so, so, thank you for the great advice. I've been a nail artist for three years, own my own business, and I needed to hear this. Yeah. Now, they had a question going on on the side up there. What do you th some some uh, nail artists don't do minors. They have an 18-year-old cutoff. What do you think of that? I, I agree with it. Yeah? Yeah. Gotcha. I think I think little kid now, little kid now, it it's too small. Okay, not saying that it's not doable. It's definitely doable. Just if you're really good at it. If not, you're gonna ruin the, the growth for the nail of that kid. However, I'm not gonna turn it down. Um the acrylic now, see the acrylic is not making the nail unhealthy. <laughs> it's a nail tech that making the nail unhealthy. Um, for kids, um, I prefer to do press on for them. They can put it on, they can snatch it up, whatever they do. But for acrylic, you need a person that are responsible, a person that feel every two weeks or every three weeks, uh, a person that will want to make that commitment. A kid doesn't make that commitment. A kid would rip the nail up in like next week, week after that. Sure, it's a great money maker for you, but they're not on your good reputation. So you can choose to deal with it either way. It's up to you. Um, not saying that I will turn down that kit. I, I will totally take business from that kit, but I will advise it to do something more healthy. Like for someone at your age, press on it a thing for you. You can uh, even sell them on it. Like you can replace, you can, um, you can uh, switch them out um, every day. You can chant them. Oh, the kid's going to love it. Oh, just depend on what you do. Or oh, talk them into a manicure. Cure this. See, I feel like my eyes, of course, I'm not enough that kind of thing, but it would be golden because for people who have been getting their nails done for like 30 years, mm -hmm. there's a transition from pick a color to what's happening now. 
this is a new age. This is this is transitioning to something else bigger. Uh, boys are getting their nails done. Right. Uh, the kids, you go to the school. You just I'm never deal with a kid with a small nail bed. They actually have very small, right. undeveloped nail bed. You never deal with a nail bed like that. When you see that nail bed, you freak out. Yeah. It's very delicate. It's very small and tiny and undeveloped. Uh, but what age they are too, okay? Because you will want like a teenager. Yeah, a teenager come in like, what color you want? Oh, I want pink. I want star. I want heart. You can feed out that. But you don't want a five-year-old come in. What color you want? Mama. Mama. I don't know. What color you want? Glitter? I want some charm. I don't know. Oh, you want some charm? You want to put on some? Mm, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't want it. You don't want that kid. You want teenagers. Because it's still a play of business. You don't have time to mess around. Yeah. But our biggest policy is no kids allowed at all, ever, anywhere near. No little kid. Because they cry, and I cannot stand it. Go home and cry. Don't cry in front of me. I spank you in front of your mothers. <laughs> you have that look. You yeah. The shit out of kids. Yes. I just need to give them that look mean look better put that bottle polish down I'm gonna get you anyway so it's a blur line for me you can choose to take them or you should not take them just don't make your life miserable and what sometimes pe people are also misleading a little bit can you paint my dad in there thinking that if the kit it needs to be cheaper? Mm -mm, girl, it needs to be the same price. I don't care how old they are. When I do a piece of art on the nail, it needs to be the same price. I'm not going to take it cheaper by all means. Just because they, oh, can you paint my dad in there? Oh, can you do a little, little full set? A little full set. For, for my daughter, please. She just one pink. What do you mean she just one pink? You just one pink too. What do you mean that what just that what just not need to be in here? It's gonna be fifty dollars just like you. <laughs> that that yeah. thing you wanted to explain for them. You're not gonna bring from fifty dollar to twenty dollar just because it's a kid. Right. No. Definitely not anything more. It's gonna be yes, because a, a kid now is difficult. It's small, it's tricky, it needs to be the same price or more. That's why I don't hate deal with kids because people expect it to be cheaper. Mm -mm. Cheaper. They are hell to work with. They move everywhere. They don't sit still for you. Please, even trust them to put a hand on the machine properly. It is oh, beautiful. Oh, this is a good question. Uh, you know, do you suggest using quality products during the time practicing on your guinea pig clients or something you can work with till you've had enough practice? Okay. When it comes to quality, that's different. Uh, there's quite many different things. So, but when they're practicing, that's what I'm getting at. When it comes to quality, that's two different things. <clears throat> this clam gel is super quality, okay? But you can use some cheap ass glitter for your client that you're practicing, okay? But this texture effects is also quality. However, you cannot replace it. You have to have it, right? right? To achieve that texture design. So. When it comes quiet, it's a two type. That's a type that can be replaced, that's a type that cannot be replaced. So at that point, you choose. Um, if you have to use this, you have to use this. You cannot not, not use it because then you couldn't find anything else that it will complement the effect. So with any specialty product that you have to use, well, you have to bring it out. Um, because while you practice on them, you need proper product for you to practice, right? If you wrong product practice, that's only mess you up. So you have to use correct product when you practice. However, when it comes to skin, like this spark gel is a skin. It's just a very good glitter skin. With a client that you're practicing, you just maybe take a shitty red gel or some glitter you bought at Walmart or something like that. That would do too. So it just depends really. Like a top coat, you know, however, 
you don't want to choose product that will match you up that will make that nail set look less like like if i were to switch a cheap product i probably do top coat but nothing else a uh, gel pen you really do need a gel pen with the right consistency um i feel like you're, you're, you're kind of most of my product i have it for, because it's necessary it's the same glass gel you can replay it by mixing it you can replay by mixing it it's not going to be as clear but that would do for temporary time but even with temporary time you do really need to watch out on your skill and technique because you still need to do a wonderful job on their nail not for them to test the limit because you are waiting to get out of that hell hole right so you need to test your limit you need that ability still when i'm doing a practice climb i i put my heart and soul into it yeah, you gotta use water, i just don't like them because they they ratchet you know they talk a lot and they 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 chase you on money and they don't tip you stuff like that it drives you nuts <laughs> But you still need to put your heart and soul into a set to test your limit, to test, am I good? Am I there? And am I ready to get out of here? Or not? You know, you need to test it. So that's, that. Uh, be aware of it. Be careful of um, how you chew your product too. Don't mess yourself up. Because really, you're using the guinea pigs to hone your skill, your right. muscle memory. Yeah, so you still need to throw down a good set. You just know in your head that, Whatever is between us, just here for now. It's not gonna be forever. This is not. Mm -hmm. This is not true love. This is just my prostitution. You know, you go in, you pay a little bit for a set, and I give you something back. Now later on, it's not gonna be there. I might be gone next next day. You know, it's just pass by. That's all. You just know that. That doesn't mean that you do a bad job on there now. No, you have to, have to deliver your everything. Um. You see, I love the contrast of the wet road. I, however, kind of love this on top because it's like foggy. I don't know that I will put you know, chrome on it at all. I don't know. Yeah, your mental health is really everything. Everything you do is really for your mental health because if you're not in a good state of mind, good luck making an, a creative nail set. It's not wow. going to happen. You have to be happy. You have to be happy. Or else you can just learn from me for now set. But you want to create something, you have to be in a good set of mind. You have to be inspired. You have to love your client. And that's not for everyone. Because some, some of um, the people have been hard time with their client right now. However, you have to know that that's not forever unless you choose it to be forever. Oh, did you hear that Indonesia's made sex before marriage a crime? Oh. Woo. Now, um, when it comes to that, uh, that's mixed match opinion about that. Uh, I disagree on that because sex is also part of a marriage. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to test a good first to see if there's anything wrong with them because there's some, sometimes there's something wrong with them. Like the PB is not working correctly or something like that. <laughs> or they have one extra peanut somewhere, one extra bar somewhere. You don't want to be surprised. You don't want to see one extra toad or or maybe this one doesn't look good enough. You know, it's a little, um, it's a little wiggle, it's a little lopsided. I mean, you might not want that. Something something like that could affect your whole things. Um, of course, sex is not everything when it comes to marriage, but it's part of it. So just be careful. Make sure... Check them out first, make sure there's nothing wrong with them, you know, everything's right, everything's in alignment, there's nothing out of alignment, you know, because you have to wonder why they're singles in the first place, so you have to, like, really test drive it, you know. Because sometimes it can get up for, like, 10 minutes, and then it come down again for hours until the next right. day. So all of that uh, play in a very big, important role into your uh, your romantic life. I disagree with that. No, no, no sex before you marriage. You, you get the test out of car. That's something that parent made up, not little kid. Kid doesn't make that up. Parent made that up. When the kid turned 18, the parent made it up. Oh, you're not supposed to have sex before marriage. That's for the old generation. It's for people who still go watching dinosaur game, dinosaur racing. Okay. 
So uh, that what I do is that I use um. Well, cat's paws that are not moving in Indonesia. <laughs> little hot right here. I I, I kind of piece on it later. Um, I kind of boost some um red uh crystal on it too. Now this one right here. See, I I plan to not really top coat in this. So uh, this have to be thin enough. I don't want it to be thick at all. Uh, easier with line. When it comes to not top coping it, easier if you do line. Now, if you do object like that, you have to really watch away. Make sure that you know, that's one little hard right there, miss. You have to really watch away because in object, you use more pain than in line. Line, you don't use a lot of pain. So, with, with line, line is okay. But with object like this, you have to be a little careful on that. This is beautiful. Romantic, really romantic set. Honey, we've never had makeup sex. I think we need to do the fights. You know? I've always heard this great. I didn't want to go through the fighting process, but you know. Yeah, yeah. the makeup sex. What what you do? You like yelling at each other while yeah, you're I, I don't know how I'm going to be mad. Like, like, damn it. Fuck, I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I don't know. How don't dare know you order like. fish? I don't know. <laughs> Did, did I sound just like him? Did I sound like him? <laughs> Call his name for me. Call his name for me. <laughs> is, is that what makes up sex is? <laughs> Damn it. Think better change from now on. <laughs> like, fuck, is it going to be the last one? <laughs> is that what makes up sex sound like? <laughs> Jim wrote, if you join the Mrs. Pins Party Live, it'll be saved on Pino Bo Shop. Also, we would apologize for any. No. We're very unapologetic. <clears throat> our audience, uh, our, our, our audience now. Maybe that's why I think they know it right now. You know, neither one of us is going to apologize. I'm very unapologetic. You know, that's I part of being, uh, yeah, I'm very unapologetic. We, we, because whatever I do, I believe that it is natural. Is it natural for me? And because we're understanding people, we can't apologize for our actions. Even if I do wrong. something wrong, I, I do it from the bottom of my heart. It's honesty for me. So even if it offends someone, I never apologize for it. Because I only apologize if I were to deceive upon intention. Like I doing something wrong, but I know that it's wrong, and I know they're gonna be mad, and I do it anyway. That is to me is a crime, it's a hate crime. Um, but other than that, even if I make a mistake or I offend somebody, if I don't do it intentionally, if I just do it because it's the way I am, I never apologize for it. Being offended is Nonsense. their perception. Yeah, yeah. And never your intent. Yeah, if I'm not intended to offend them and they get offended, well, too bad. That's just who I am. They have to deal with it or they not deal with it. But yeah, I don't apologize a lot for a lot of things. Maybe if I cut someone by accident and if it really hurt, I don't <laughs> apologize. But if it just hurt a little bit, oh, get on with yourself. Yeah. Grow up. So that's that. Um anyways. Thank you. Ew, it's so romantic. This is my first life. We apologize for it. <laughs> now, the uh, the time I do something different. If you don't want to, you can just repeat this. Um, I would not do another umbrella, but I would show it in video. So I have to do another one to capture it in video. Probably one Apple Power too. But on the time, what I'm doing is white unicorn background. Um, having this black as a heart, but I dab in it so it looks like a leaf heart. After I unicorn everything, that, that black will become greenish. Then I eat a boot glitter over it, or I put a little heart confetti. If you uh, have a note about our heart confetti, we have this confetti right here, which you can apply on sticky. Um, red, uh, the heart shape is a more difficult shape to put it in is uh, harder than the other shape. Um, 
So if sticky doesn't work for you, it should. It should put it in. Um, it should adhere it. But if your nail is too curved, if you have like a huge curve, C curve, um, remember our old method of lamination to the silicone flashlight. Also, heart can also be glued on by crystal magic glue. However, if you choose glue it on, you should always top coat it, even though, um, even though it's the same foil or the same kind of foil in the backing of a rhinestone. And the rhinestone you glue it on, so actually you glue the foil backing of the rhinestone on. Also, it's also worth the same. However, a hot confetti is very flat. So if you glue it on without top coating it. Hi, Matt. Hello, Matt. Yay. Um, if you're not top coating your heart, if you glue it on, it's not going to come up easy, but it will because people will mess with it. Because it's thin and it's sharp, they will, they will try to peel it. They can't help it. They can't help it. So even if you would glue it on, you have to put top coat on wrapping the heart. What I mean is you have to go over the edge a little bit. So it can wrap the heart. So, so that's that. That's three way of uh, doing heart. And I would do that red heart over that, uh, um, that black heart, that black, black big heart that I would like um, dab in it like leaf. I would wrap heart in it. So it like a rose, like a rose bush but in a heart shape. So that's, that's all you want. Just an update because you may miss this. Uh, Max quit his job. Right, which I, I'm hoping he wasn't working oh, tell me about it. something else because I'll tell you what, Matt, you actually have what it takes, as many do, but you, you know, we, I can tell the difference, you know, but you have a passion for it. And yeah. Drive. So really, you need to be your own artist. You need to be just doing your own, own self uh, in your own room with your own people. Quit his job by, quit his job do now? Or no, quit... I, I, I don't know. He just said he quit his job. Oh. It's too stressful. We gotta give him kudos for that. That's good for a him. Lot of people stay trapped in situations. Right. You know? No, good for him. That means yeah. he won Jen. That's good. Absolutely. He's got a supportive. Oh, that's that's partner, amazing. You know. So now he can full force on on his craft. Yep. That is amazing, Matt. I I am happy for you. I am definitely happy for you. Um. Uh, now I quit to do nail full time. Oh, that's absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take that game. You gotta take that step. You gotta make that. Decision. That is awesome. You got to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some people they choose to be miserable, right? Because they're afraid that if they change, will it be more worse. miserable? Come on, you gotta change. If like like before when I'm talking about um the way the universe treating you, I'm gonna repeat it. Is um of course it's a philosophy, but it makes all the sense in the world. And I'm not gonna step depth into why we it's develop. It's been factual to us. It's been factual to us. So the way of the universe treat you is. Everybody have a path, and that is a good path to be on. At staying on that path will bring you nothing but goodness. Easiness. But but human are a creature of free will. Human have a great imagination, and people love to develop an idea of what their future gonna be like. Okay, that that is one of the flaw and one of the gifts that human have is that they have wonderful imagination. So let's say your path make you a billionaire. A person could be like, wow, I want to become a millionaire. So I need to do this, this, it. By the end of the years, I will make a million. And they have no idea that there's a billion waiting for them. But people love to take, develop, to take control of their journey, which is fine. However, to take control of your journey, you either on the right path or you're not on the right path. And to me, when a person is on the right path, everything is gonna be easy for you. It's gonna fall into your lap just like this, no fail. But when things get hard for you, that you're means going the wrong it, you're going the wrong way. And at that point, the universe will do something horrible for you. Because and you recognize it and correct it quickly. In order for it to bend you, it cannot make things easy for you because when things are easy for people, they don't bend. They, they get comfortable where they are or they, they will continue on the path they're on. So in order for the universe to say, hey, wake up, it needs to give you something that people tend to view it as a tra tragedy. Mm -hmm. Like the shop get burned down or I get fired from my job or someone die or... or I lose a finger or something. Yeah. Something horrible. But 
most people doesn't know because when something horrible happens to them, they dwell, dwell on it. But they have to know that when something like that happens, they have to be aware of what the universe is trying to tell them because it's trying to change some, some action that belongs to them. It's trying to change it. You know what I mean? And they have to really be forceful. Just like your parents. When your parents want to make you do something, are they going to give you a good time? No. Like, you have to do this or this is going to happen to you. Same way that the universe do it to push into the right direction. So to me, change it is great. To me, change it is great. And you, you have to be aware of if things are going to get easier. And, and really, I've always learned that if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, everything you ever need will be right in front of you. Right. right in front of you. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Yeah, yeah. But it's because a lot of people have just their life on a financial factor. I'm not saying that yes. that is not important. That is, is important. It's a big part of you. You have to have money to buy stuff. It's, you know, I mean, it's not like you want money uh, that you're greedy. No, you have to have money to buy stuff. You have money to do stuff. Um, but a lot of people, when things happen to them, they turn back to the money. They're like, well, if I lose this, if I'm not doing this anymore, or if I do that, um, mm, I'm not going to get that much money. That's why they dwell on stuff when stuff happens to them because they think there's a lot of something that they need. That's what but they're, they're what you have to do is you have to focus on what's ahead of you because it might be so big that we're not going to even think about it. Like, let me tell you about my story before. You know, my plan is totally different because, you know, as human, we think that we know everything. So my plan is to have this house come and um, to, to, to have like mini class. That's why I want, I want to have like a three or four person class. That is a long time ago. That's three years ago. But right now, it does not turn out how I want it. It turned out even better than how I want it. And if I have keep continue into the path of forcing this way, it will not be as great as it is now. Now I can see as much people I want. Mm -hmm. Imagine me sitting here doing a three or four person class, making what, like 2,000 two a visit or whatever it is. Right now, the product making money, I don't even, I don't even look looking at that direction. I'm looking at this direction, teaching people. So that's two different ways, but it's way bigger. The impact is way bigger. Um, everything is bigger. Everything's I'm better. happier. We had so many people. The money is better. Do this off of their, their wants and everything is bigger. And I, I'm telling you, I don't see this coming. As is everybody else. No one gonna see what's coming. And you, you know, know what I mean? Time we have people saying you need to do this, you need to do that. They don't understand. They don't we're understand following what we're supposed to be doing. So one of the thing in life is you have to follow. You have to keep your eye out. You got to stay current. Mm -hmm. So because bad thing happens, that doesn't mean that it's bad. You just have to really focus on it. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm to the left when I should have been right. Yes. So what um, Matt, uh, the change of Matt live, I'm totally excited for I'm it. I'm very excited. I am, I uh, am he looking. He's doing. He's passionate. Right. He's got the heart. And he don't know. What's going to happen when he said that he's free? Right. He don't know. He's going to focus his mind because he was juggling. Right. Things could be amazing, man. I'm, I'm so excited. And I want, I want, I want an update. I want an update because. Well, we'll get to see his work because he sends it. Right. Because we not just, we don't judge it from our standpoint. We know so many people that good things happen to them and they, they can never judge it right away. Mm -mm. It's no. always no. two. It's always one or two years down the road when you look back, like, oh when my bad god, things happen, and then we know that it's going to turn out good. And they are so discouraging, and we just keep forcing and pushing them. And then by the, like one or two years, they look back and like, hell, didn't even see, see it that coming. coming, right? So, so yeah, see, it's a big thing, man. It is a big thing. But, but now. We we have to we have to get don't tell them we gotta get sober turn around. Uh oh now Matt is kind of a pain in the ass with all the damn questions and shit. Oh, now that he doesn't have a job, does this mean this is gonna Oh more? it's gonna be worse? We oh shit. <laughs> yeah, Matt, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna clean everything. So uh, this is the last live of the week. Uh, this is my work week. And next week, um, as you can tell, I have inspired by a painting. 
So I am done with um with the feminine <coughs> feminine trend. I still have some feminine trend coming up, but um next week gonna be a lot of character painting. Uh gonna be a lot of Disney. It's a week for Disney. Hopefully we can squeeze all in one week so we can move on with it. Um and then whatever else we done uh, some uh quite a few bad bitch set. Um this set is actually is an anti Valentine. Um so people do request for anti Valentine and I don't I cannot do set that are hateful. hateful. Right. Like fuck love or anything like that. Um I choose not to do it. But to me this set is a a, a depiction of longing and hope. Uh depiction of solitude but not in a sad way um so, slutty solitude. no, no. Th this woman is loving every aspect of her life she appreciates all the beauty in it as the season comes she doesn't need a man to make her happy she has style she has color in her life her love the red umbrella and the red leaf around it portray the beauty and the romance in her life and romance doesn't need to come with a man Romance is in your heart. You can make everything romantic by, you know, a, a, a true happiness is really within you. Um, of course, you find a partner to complete you and um, to, to share your goodness with uh, your partner. But true beauty and true romance is come within, it come from within. At right here, I put in the Eiffel Tower because that also is something that can make you happy. It's something that you can enjoy. So romance come in all aspect of life. It doesn't need it doesn't need a, a pair in it to be a romance set. So uh it's anti one time ish, but not quite. Depend on the eye of beholders to see it and to see what the set read and to, to see what it try to say to you. Um you cannot judge it however you want. You can ask a couple little bird right here, or a couple folly falling oh i should do that i have just suggested to myself Woo! good good couple of falling flowing. <laughs> i said i start now school monday i'm gonna be Telling the teacher to play your videos. While okay. One thing I want to tell you about this. Um, you keep. I I think that you should keep your nail school completely. Um, separate. <laughs> yeah, completely separate because the people that teaching you will hate what we're doing. They will hate what we're doing. And they they, they don't negative thoughts. Yeah, they don't want anything to do with this. They they like the old way, even acrylic application. You know, the way that. Uh, we apply acrylic now. What? Why? Totally different than what they have to teach you in school and what they force to teach you in school because you follow with a format. Um, uh, a lot of it you're not, not gonna bring with you for except for basic knowledge. That what the whole you have to analyze in too. You get that license. You get that license. Um, it's not legal. But uh, so right now, just for you to study acrylic, you shouldn't study acrylic right now. Uh, outside because what it does is it will mess you up because the way people do acrylic outside are different than the way people do acrylic in school. I have been warned that uh, when I first go to nail school, it's my aunt. My aunt also uh, do nail and she say the way we do it is different than the way they taught you but you cannot learn any of our way until you learn their way because if you learn your way when you get into uh, the practical test that they are judging you, they can tell that you're not learning from school. And if you're not learning from school, if you do it like let like that makes sense. They're gonna be like they they will fail you. They will fail you. Um, like let there's this guy when I was in school, and they strict the guy. Um, this guy he done thirty minutes ahead of time. Thirty minutes ahead of time, he could fail, fail for incorrect application. Even though it looks beautiful at the end, it's incorrect, you know. And the other person, they work at literally. It's so sloppy, acrylic, or dripping. Now her now, she passed in a heartbeat because they care about sanitation. The they care about the step. 
they care about how you hold and you climb. They care about what step you do, what step you you don't miss any step. They doesn't care really care about the result because the purpose in school is for you to learn the rules. And of course, you have to go with a rule, whatever. But um, warn you that the word the network is different from the network in school. Um, but then again, um, that is a knowledge that I have for ten years ago. So that yeah, it could be different now. It could be totally different. So I don't know. I just wanna put that out there just in case. But the purpose is to get the license, so you have the right to operate everywhere. Plus, you know more about chemicals, about uh, acrylic, about brushing. And I'm not saying that it's not worth knowing. You just have to be aware. It's 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 good to know everything from everyone that didn't. Like if you know their way now, be, later on when you were to learn our way of sculpting, our way of filing, you can compare it to them. You can compare it their way of saying because in order for you to get good, you have to understand why people do things differently too. And when you see the difference, it dawn on you. It would it will be very mm -hmm. bright. So yeah, just something. I'm sure that t after 10 years, I think my public channel, they might probably do yeah, teach no, nail art and all that. All the laws over here are set up by lobbyists um, who, who's put in a bid to pass certain laws. I mean, there's more reasons than just what we think is sanitation. And I, um, I am also will share something with you, why they hate us. Why they hate us, because since the day Pinterest coming out, that because before Pinterest, that's just them. That's just the board of education. People paying five, six thousand dollars to come to them. They teach you whatever they teach. They don't care if it work or not. If it, if you make money from it or not, they teach you whatever that they think that you have to do. You have to have, and then they pass you a license. But since the day Pinterest come out, people are learning everything from everywhere that lose a lot of money for the education board um actually it's lose massive money and and sure. then we are rising as now artists and now influencers so people like us we can hand out certificate okay and that's why they hate us because our certificate doesn't give you the right to operate they they certificate and they license does give you the right so they have the law on their side. But what we do is that we get in famous and popular at a nail artist. And then when we get to a certain level of famous, we can give people certificate and they can actually proudly present it like, like this certificate I have been taught by Tino or this certificate I have been taught by the Queen of Bling. So it's, it's a, a name that you can drop, it's a portfolio that you can drop and because of that, there is a big debate on that. Like, like, oh, they're not supposed to hand out license. It's not license. It's certification. So it's going to show that who you've been educated it's with. It's an accomplishment. It's an accomplishment. So the Board of Education hate us nail artists everywhere. The, the rising of Instagram and Pinterest and TikTok um, up, up our generation, which is a younger generation than them, you have to know that they old people, they old generation, and they don't like the new way. But and the this new is way also usually funded by a, a tax, a tax and people. There's also, an entity in the government, uh, yes, institution that goes around and checks on stuff. Their jobs, it, it, and they need jobs. to make their money. They need to make their money. Period. All and now the, the word of DYI is rising also. People, um, people either do it at home or they become present now artists, and that also is a rising trend. So I'm telling you, but I don't care because the new way is here, the new way is now, and it's staying. It's not going anywhere because the voice of the younger generation have more than the old one because we have TikTok, we have media, we have Instagram, we can voice our opinion, and this world have be slowly become our world. So they are actually living in a world that are no longer exist. But again, law is law, rule is rule. You need, for you need a license, and apparently you need to pay, I don't know how many thousand dollars for a license, but that's just the way it is. Um, uh, I feel bad that people have to go through that, but I have to go through that. Everybody has to go through that. It's just the way it's worked. It's just a little pride you have to pay to be able to operate. But in the positive aspect of it, it does allow you to be around shitty people. Right. 
so at the way at the way and um first uh that girl from friends that say um uh, well where i have i don't have any walmart or mall for me to practice on people the school is a place then practice on your um your uh practice. colleague practice that would be a, a day what they flooded the school with guinea pig and people will pay like what fifteen dollar for nail set in in the school. Go for it. Go practice for it. For it. For it. Practice, it. practice, practice. Even though you're not happy with with the what's going on right now, you know that you doing it so you can make more money, so you can get out of that situation. Yes. Yes, because you don't want to be stuck there at all. So never be comfortable there. It's not the play for you to be comfortable there. Strive, strive to be better. Try to get out of there. You do not need a nail license to teach. Oh wait, I don't. You know, I don't know that one. To do what? What's the a question? Nail license to teach nail art. Um, to teach nail art, you don't need a nail license because that's art. That's not to operate. Now you need license. You not you need nail license and educating license for you to. Okay, for you to teach acrylic. You don't really need a license neither, but you don't want to just learn it from anyone. You want to learn someone who teach before, who have um, experience before with that, right? Because that's all kind of different way out there. Of course, you need to learn more than just one way, but still, you do want to learn it from a famous person instead of a person in a play market say, shh, psh, psh. you want to learn some new art? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want that person. Like in the ten club, you know, psh, Open a, a suitcase. You want to learn some nail art? Five dollars. Want to learn it? No, you don't want that. But um, a person have to have a license to allow you to operate. Like I'm, I cannot allow you to operate. I I cannot grant you that powers. Only a person that not only have nail license, they have to have educating license to them to grant you a license. That is a license to operate. Now, to, to, for you to learn acrylic skill, actual skill, for you to learn art skill, for you to learn how to draw, you can learn it from anyone. You can l even learn it from a person that's not a nail tech. I have inspired a people that not not nail tech all the time. People that have talent. Shoot, I, I go to TikTok, I see a person paint the painting, I stay there. I stay there to see how they paint it. You know, a person that sit there making jewelry on TikTok, that's art right there. You might learn the way how they glue thing. You might learn the way how they do beading thing. You might learn what tool they use. That you can learn it from anyone. From anyone. Just remember to your source properly. Yes. But for but other than that, you can learn from whoever you want or you can teach whoever you want. It's just that to grant them the power, it needs to be going through proper channel. For any and power I, to be and granted. I think Matt Tino's talking to you. What he's saying is choose someone else. Damn it! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there was a person that asked. Uh, that means oh, do you have a have a license to teach? Yeah. So and it doesn't matter if you have a license or not have license. You can teach. You can teach. It's just that you have to have proper license to grant a person a power. <clears throat> but that go to proper channel. Go to crazy channel legal channel everywhere oh my lord of course I have to pay the school more money <laughs> anyway anyway <laughs> matt i am so excited for you i am, too. I am so excited for you tomorrow is a brand new day honey yes. brand new day yeah. so that's that's what it is for now today is the last day until monday again so until then, I will post inspirational posts again. A couple of my Valentine inspirational posts that make hit. I want to do it again uh, sometime this week and a couple of videos. Um, oh, by the way, one of our viewer, Nora, nailed it. I have made a cheetah video with a face on it. If you see, if you see my cheetah video that I posted like yesterday, Nora nailed it. Have did it. Wait, January nine. That was she have did it, and I'm swearing to you, it's, a, it's exactly the same. Your mind. It's a face. It's a trip. I'm telling you, I'm so what excited. That means? that means 
she uses caps. She so ab she absorbing caps. it. Okay. What I why I'm here to teach you is I teach you technique. I teach you product. You can make make it however you want. You can build your skill. You can watch it, build your skill, build technique, build your knowledge. But you also, I really want you to absorb the design and essence, which is totally different. The essence of a designer like me, Nora, our mind is totally in the same spectrum. And that is a designer essence. A designer essence is a person that be able to see a set and generate different things, generate something new. But using the same essence, same technique, everything is the same, it's just different. <laughs> now that is a sign of success. Small sign of success. That is a sprout mm -hmm. that you're gonna grow and do something you new. Oh yeah, because now you're excited about it. Yeah, very excited about it. Oh, SpongeBob. Yeah, so I need to SpongeBob. I need to brainstorm a few casts next week. Uh, I need to do that. Uh, I already do the alien koala bear thing, so I don't want to do it again. Um, being in the beach, I have to have it. Um, all the Disney princess are probably coming out. Peppy LaPoo. Peppy LaPoo? Uh -huh. Oh. Is that, the, might love it. is that the naked bear? I don't have any pants. It is not the naked bear. I don't know who the naked bear is. That was this bear I want to see that is bear. naked. It only has a shirt. It don't have pants on. <laughs> it has honey. And it has little pigs with it. Oh, 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 Winnie the Pooh. No, it's not Winnie the Pooh. Little pink pitch, pink. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not bad. It's some kind of bad. But anyway. Anyway, so this is for today. This is the last set this week. South. Oh, my God, Matt. South Park. Should I do it? Ooh, that would be... Oh, that would be so risky, but I love it. I don't know. You know, Kenny and, um, uh, what's that? The one that my favorite, the one that are so obnoxious and slutty, Carmen. Oh my God, I have to do Carmen. Carmen was my favorite. Carmen, Carmen is the sluttiest one. One Carmen was um portrayed as a Vietnamese pop too. Oh my God, the oh my God. <laughs> the <laughs> around saying, I don't know, sexy, sexy, I don't know, sexy. Oh my God, I love it. I still remember. Up to today, I still use it once in a while. <sighs> this is funny. I should do a South Park set, for sure. Um. Anyway, anyway, I just have to think through it. But that's it for today. That's it for today. I will post it right away in three minutes. So if I post it tomorrow, I'll be out. I'm out to do Sunday. Then Monday, I come back on. Come back I know Cartman, Cartman was my hero. I feel like if I am a cartoon character, that would be me. I am totally Cartman inside now. Cartman is me. I think they stole it from my personality and put it on TV. Um, yeah, Carmen. Carmen is risky. Carmen is, like, controversial. I love it. He's my hero. Mm -hmm. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Matt. Bye, Jenny. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. I will see you later. Bye, Cacklaw. Cacklaw and Ding. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Yes, I know. Bye, Miles Wild. Thank you so much for your time. I saw your knowledge. It's amazing. It's first, first lie. Looking forward to the next one. Yes, Siren. Um, Siren, you're not going to see me tomorrow. You're going to see me Monday. And Monday, I will be on at 11 a.m. Central Time. So 11 a.m. Uh, Monday. Monday, I will be on. We're going to have a different mentality. Yes. Bye-bye, D-Nails. Uh, D-D-Nails. Bye, Stephen Frass. See you later. Bye bye, Minerva. Minerva. Happy B now. Alzana. Yes, Alzana. Alzana is a regular man, you know. Uh, Cyan, bye bye. Kikaro, bye Kikaro. Mix things, sparkle, bye bye. Uh, Nagma, thank you, Nagma. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure on Minerva now. It's got yours. Um, Ah, uh, Nama, Pink Sparkle. Oh, Trampolini, my Trampolini, Nail Addicts. Pace and say thank you, Pino Dustin. You're welcome, Pace and Kikaro. Nama. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. All right, it's Graciona, are yours? Absolutely, of course. All right.
I'm out of here. Bye. 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 Bye.